My name is Mike Diotti, a primary care physician with a background in internal medicine and pediatrics. Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 anti-cancer foods. No matter the type, cancer is a terrible disease that affects millions of people worldwide, and unfortunately, its prevalence continues to rise. Now, whether you're looking to prevent cancer or if you're in the middle of a battle against cancer, or even if you're a cancer survivor and are looking to lower the risk of recurrence of the cancer that you've been through, nutrition is huge, and that's what we're going to focus on today. Research has shown that our lifestyle and environment plays a significant role in the development and progression of cancer. In a study published in The Lancet, the causes of global cancer from 2010 to 2019 were evaluated, suggesting 30 to 50% of deaths due to cancer were caused by certain risk factors that were avoidable, most commonly smoking, alcohol use, and being overweight or obese. When we get further into the research, we do find that certain foods possess powerful anti-cancer properties, offering a natural and holistic approach to enhancing health and well-being. Before we talk about foods, let's talk about how cancer develops. By understanding the basics of how cancer starts and progresses, we can better understand how using food, how using nutrition, can help counteract some of these mechanisms. Overall, big picture, damage to the DNA within our cells can lead to abnormal growth of that cell. This damage can be caused, like we said, by genetics or by different factors in our environment. As an example, there's strong evidence that links excessive oxidative stress in the body to the development of cancer. This occurs through direct damage to DNA by all that oxidation and also through an increased risk of mutations when a lot of oxidative stress is present. In addition to excessive oxidative stress, chronic inflammation is also thought to play a very strong role in the development of cancer. Now, once the DNA damage is done and the cancer starts to grow, the cancer itself will release a bunch of inflammatory molecules that increase inflammation in the surrounding area, leading to further damage and further abnormal cell growth. Now imagine all of these cells trying to rapidly grow and spread and metastasize. In order to support that excessive cancerous growth, the cells themselves need a lot of oxygen and nutrients. Cancer cells release factors that promote growth of new blood vessels, such as vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. This ensures an adequate supply of oxygen and nutrients to the growing tumor mass, facilitating its expansion and metastatic potential. This is a relatively simple explanation of how cancer develops. It definitely gets a lot more complicated than that, but it at least gives us some basic building blocks to work with. Many of the foods that we're going to talk about have been shown in the laboratory setting to counteract some of these cancerous processes, whether it's prohibiting the growth of new blood vessels for cancer cells, or acting as antioxidants or anti-inflammatory agents, or directly inducing the death of cancer cells. I do want to mention that a lot of times when it comes to foods, nutrition, supplementation, it's harder to do more powerful studies in actual cancer patients, because we're often using much more powerful medications like chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, immunotherapy. It's hard to do a randomized controlled clinical trial comparing food against chemotherapy. That being said, I do think there's enough evidence that food and nutrition can play a very significant role in the battle against cancer. As you learn about these foods, please remember this video is meant for education, meant to better your health, but is not meant to take the place of any specific advice or treatment plans that are recommended by your healthcare team. Check in with your healthcare providers and talk about how nutrition can play a role alongside whatever other treatments they may be recommending for your health. All right, so let's get to it. Here are the top 10 anti-cancer foods. Food group number one are cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, and kale, perhaps the most renowned for their anti-cancer properties. Cruciferous refers to members of the cabbage family. Now, these vegetables contain compounds called 
glucosinolates, which are metabolized into isothiocyanates during digestion. You do not need to know the specific names. Just know that these compounds have been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells, prevent DNA damage, even induce apoptosis, which is a fancy word for cell death, of cancer cells. Aside from these compounds, cruciferous vegetables are also going to contain a lot of fiber, vitamins, and minerals, making them an essential part of the cancer preventative and treatment diet. Now with broccoli specifically, there's a high amount of a phytochemical called sulforaphane, which is a cancer-fighting plant compound that has been linked to reducing the risks of prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, and oral cancers. Number two is berries. These are one of my personal favorites, and thankfully they provide a lot of great health benefits. I've previously discussed how berries can be very helpful for cardiovascular disease and high blood pressure. Now, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, these are packed with powerful antioxidants and phytochemicals. Anthocyanins, which are what give these fruits their vibrant color, has been found to have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. These compounds can neutralize the harmful free radicals that are created with lots of oxidative stress. They reduce overall oxidative stress. and They inhibit the growth and spread of cancer cells. Now, some studies have shown that regular consumption of berries may lower the risk of several types of cancer, including colon, breast, and prostate cancer. And hey, these are going to be some of the most common types of cancer for men and women. So make sure to eat berries on a regular basis. Number three is tomatoes. These are rich in lycopene, a carotenoid pigment responsible for the vibrant red color. Lycopene is a potent antioxidant that can protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. It also has been linked to reduce risk of several types of cancer. There's a lot of scientists who think lycopene may inhibit the growth of cancer cells, block the formation of new blood vessels that supply these tumors, and enhance the body's natural defenses against cancer. Food number four is green tea. If you like drinking green tea, there is good news because this is renowned for many different health benefits. I've talked about it before, but it contains a specific group of polyphenols called catechins and one specifically called EGCG, which possesses potent antioxidant and anti-cancer properties. EGCG specifically has been shown to inhibit tumor growth, induce cell death, and inhibit the spread of cancer cells. Same story, there seems to be a reduced risk of several types of cancers for people who drink green tea on a regular basis. Number five is garlic and onions. These belong to the allium family and contain sulfur compounds such as allicin and quercetin. These compounds have demonstrated anti-cancer properties by inhibiting tumor growth, inducing cell death, and preventing the formation of new blood vessels and tumors. Now, garlic and onions are used for a lot of different health purposes, a lot of which is due to their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. It probably is beneficial to our health to eat garlic and onion on a regular basis. Some individuals will take them in supplement form. So for example, a thousand milligrams of garlic with their meals. It also may have an effect on blood pressure and blood sugar. So lots of great health benefits from garlic and onions. Number six is leafy green vegetables. Leafy green vegetables such as spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are rich in essential nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're excellent sources of fiber and chlorophyll, which contribute to their particular anti-cancer properties. These leafy greens have a very high amount of antioxidants, which is going to neutralize those free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. Number eight is walnuts. Walnuts are very nutrient dense. They're full of fat, they're full of fiber, and most significantly full of omega-3 fatty acids, which have a ton of great health benefits. The omega-3s found in walnuts are a little bit different than those found in fish. It's known as alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA. This compound, ALA, has been demonstrated to have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. 
there's a lot of other very healthy compounds in walnuts that can inhibit cell growth and even induce apoptosis. Food number nine is flax seed. Flax seeds are very small seeds that come in a variety of different versions. There's whole seeds, there's ground seed, some people use flax seed oil. Flax seeds also contain a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids and this compound called lignans. Lignans in particular have been shown to possess anti-cancer properties by interfering with hormone-related cancers such as breast and prostate cancer. We already talked about the omega-3s, but these can help reduce inflammation, support our immune system, and inhibit tumor growth. I'm a firm believer that the ground flaxseed version is the best way to take flaxseed because these are going to be digested the best compared to other versions. I do usually recommend taking flaxseed an hour or two after any other supplements or medication because it contains this mucus-like fluid called mucilage that can prevent your gut from absorbing other nutrients, supplements, medications. Food number 10 are green leafy herbs. These herbs include parsley, cilantro, basil. They're not only great additions to a meal, great to cook with, but also provide anti-cancer benefits. These herbs contain a wide range of bioactive compounds, including flavonoids, carotenoids, oils, which have been shown to have potential in inhibiting cancer growth and reducing inflammation. As an example, parsley is rich in apigenin, which is a flavonoid that has been associated with a decreased risk of several types of cancers, including breast, prostate, and colorectal cancer. In addition to focusing on living the healthiest lifestyle you can and incorporating all these nutrient-rich foods into your diet, talk to your healthcare provider about cancer screening and when you should start screening for different cancers. If you catch something early, it can significantly boost your chances of beating it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about living a happy and healthy life.